Good evening, Snoopy Minds of the Interwebs. I'm Alexa, the resident ooky spooky girly. And I'm Aiden, your friendly neighborhood horror lover. Now, I gotta ask Aiden, what do you think about the whole, like, dash cam footage trend? Quite frankly, Alexa, it sends chills down my spine. <laughs> there are few things scarier than driving alone at night and not knowing what might be out to get you. You guys ever see anything creepy while you're in the car? Feel free to let us know in the comments, and here are the top five terrifying things caught on trucker dash cams. In fifth place, we have a ghostly unknown. So back in the fall of 2020, when most of us were still, you know, staying inside, and when I know I was definitely making way too much TikTok content, truck drivers were still very much out and about. 207 Paranormal, a nonprofit investigative group out of Maine, posted a video to their Facebook page on September 2nd of that year, showing a mysterious shadow captured on dash cam. I'll let it play now before we get cracking. According to the caption, accompanying the video. It was filmed in the Falmouth, Maine area a few days prior. The witness was reviewing dash cam footage to see if he had captured video of a deer that had run in front of him earlier, and uh, that's no deer. A few seconds into the video, what appears to be a large shadow with no logical source of origin dashes across the road. Viewers of the video were quick to speculate that it might be an animal running across the road, perhaps distorted by the lighting conditions and frame rate of the camera. Popular suggestions for the type of animal included a fisher cat, a dog, feral hog, and even an anomalous big cat. But a closer look at the video shows a lack of solidity in the shadow, which contradicts any narrative which suggests it represents any sort of flesh and blood creature. The shadow seems kind of hazy and translucent as it appears on the left of the road in the periphery of the vehicle's headlights, before coming more opaque as it crosses the center line, invading somewhat on the other side of the road as it begins to move out of the illuminated area. The shadow is clearly translucent as it passes over the fog line to the camera's right side. That translucent nature has some speculating that it could be paranormal in nature. A relatively popular explanation being that the shadow might represent a ghostly black hound. And I very much agree with that theory. The singular 14 Society's photography and video analyst, Emily Wayland, has a different idea though, saying that we might be seeing a relatively small object flying close to the vehicle's headlights, specifically pointing out that, like I've said before, the shadow is blurry and translucent at the edges of the area, illuminated by the headlights, and opaque towards the center, which is exactly what one would expect if an object were moving in front of a light source. As it moved more directly in front of the light source, and more directly, you know, that blocks the source, the shadow will become darker before fading away as the object moves out of its way. So she thinks it could be a bird flying in front of the vehicle. You know, a relatively small object, you know, five or six inches, could project a shadow of several feet if it's close to a light source, which we can assume it is in this case because it's not visible over the hood of the vehicle. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, because since it's me, I'm leaning towards spooky unknown. Coming in fourth is the South African dash cam arsonists. Since the 9th of July this year, a group of criminals have been on a literal hot streak, setting trucks on fire all across South Africa. As of now, 21 haulage trucks have been burnt in the middle of South African highways all around the country. Oftentimes, these men threaten the drivers with weapons, chasing away them, and then setting their trucks ablaze along with any cargo the truck is carrying. The group often targets truck drivers at night or early in the morning to avoid law enforcement. These attacks have caused significant disruption to the region's transportation and logistics sector, and have raised concerns about the safety of drivers and their cargo. Their motives still remain unknown. However, dash cam footage of one of these arson attacks was discovered on the 12th of July. The disturbing footage was fortunately captured by a trucker who was on a nightly drive carrying cargo, but he was suddenly interrupted by an armed man on the road. The man would go on in Zulu to order the driver to stop the truck and exit the vehicle. And then, in a distressed manner, the man would enter the truck and was quick to grab a bottle with some sort of flammable liquid. Using it, he douses the interior of the truck and ignites the flammable puddle. And before he could burn himself, he ditches the vehicle. Luckily, no one was hurt in the matter. But that just leaves me to ask, what the hell? Imagine having to tell your boss that you lost an entire truck because some random guy burnt it down. Road rage much? After the video was posted online, the man was given the nickname of Dash Cam Arsonist. Other drivers from the area would share their personal experiences with the assailant. Fortunately though, oh, through this captured footage, police were able to identify the arsonist and he has since been arrested. On top of this, another suspect has been arrested following the first. However, the truck arsons continue on and without a clue as to why these guys are burning these down in the first place. In third place, we have an Australian ghost car. Alrighty, so this takes place in Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. Now, I have friends in Australia who would have incinerated me on the spot if I pronounced that location wrong, so I'm praying I got it right, and I'm going to avoid saying that word again for the rest of today. The dash cam footage is pretty straightforward, depicting a ghost car that mysteriously appears out of nowhere and slams into a ute. For folks like myself who might be asking just what the heck a ute is, it was originally an abbreviation for utility vehicle, and is a term used in Australia 
Australia and New Zealand to drive vehicles with a tonneau behind the passenger compartment that can be driven with a regular driver's license. Historically, the term referred to vehicles built on passenger car chassis and with the cargo tray integrated within the passenger body. However, present day usage of the term ute in Australia and New Zealand has grown to include any vehicle with an open cargo area at the rear, which you know would be called a pickup truck in other countries. And now that the technical jargon is out of the way, I'll let the video play. The glitch in the matrix moment was posted to Facebook by Dashcam Owners Australia and shows the two cars collide at an intersection. In the video, traffic can be seen turning right through a green light and seemingly out of nowhere, a silver Holden Astra materializes and crashes into the turning ute. Upon impact, the hatchback does a complete 180 degree turn and the front of the vehicle seems to be pretty damaged. The driver of the car steps out as the traffic continues to pass by. Facebook comments included folks such as Pauline Rickard, who exclaimed that it's a ghost car out of nowhere. Petey Mason, who asked, where the hell did that Astra even come from? I watched the video nearly a dozen times and I'm still none the wiser. And Neil McClymont, who agrees with me that it's a glitch in the matrix. What do you think, folks? Ghost car or trick of the light and brutal weather? Let me know in the comments. And coming in second is a close call with a train. One of my favorite moments in every action movie is during a car chase. The main character's car is speeding up to a railroad intersection with a high speed train about to cross. Then, as the train is just about to cross that railroad crossing, the main car just makes it ahead of the train, safe and sound. But when you're in a semi truck carrying a set of huge tanks filled with product, that fantasy of racing the train and beating it becomes a whole lot less cool to watch and a lot more like never waking up again. Well, on May 23rd, just weeks after buying his first dash cam, trucker Justin Payne found himself in a heart stopping incident that highlights the critical importance of railroad crossing safety. The trucker was able to capture the footage of his terrifying close call with a train. The Alberta, Canada resident was pulling a set of two tanks called Super Bs. The video begins innocently enough, with the trucker cruising down the road, going about his day as usual. Not a care in the world. But it was then when he was driving up to the railroad crossing that he would notice the train coming at the last possible moment. Payne was able to swerve out of the way just in time, and by the looks of it, the train conductor slammed the brakes too. The trucker posted the video in order to raise awareness, as the crossing lights were not working giving him no warning of the approaching train. With trucks being such heavy vehicles, Payne had no other way to dodge the train than to swerve out of the way. If he hadn't have noticed so quickly, the story I'd be telling would be much different. Railroad crossings are inherently hazardous locations, but this was a completely different hazard entirely. I'm just glad no one got hurt. It's scary to think about how, just because of a faulty light, our lives could be at such risk that at one moment you can be comfortably driving, something you do every day, and then all of a sudden, crash. Too dark? Or not dark enough? I don't know. Let me know. In first place, we have a ghost in Arizona. This out of 10 today with one of the videos from this year, and it just so happens to be the most unexplainable video as well. On Saturday, March 11th of this year, William Church, a professional truck driver who regularly drove on Arizona State Route 87, noticed a bright glare in his dash cam and thinks the flashing figure is a ghost. Now, he's described himself as someone who has seen a lot of weird stuff during his travels, but he's been able to make sense or explain away everything, except for this specific spotting. So this specter was spotted at around 2.30 a.m. While William drove past the highway's 200 mile marker, which is located between Phoenix and Payson, Arizona. And since it was that very ungodly hour, there was no one on the road. Go figure. He captured something weird on his next car dash cam, which is apparently a leading dash cam brand, and we have the footage. Heads up, it's only six seconds long, so time to pay attention now. And now that we're back from those seconds, I shall continue. He is positive the translucent figure y'all just saw looks like a person just standing in the roadway, explaining that he can see the lines through the legs that make up you know, the figure. A little context on the area, Arizona State Route 87 is a north to south highway that was constructed in 1927 and measures approximately 272.66 miles. The north end travels to State Route 264 near Second Mesa, a census designated place in Arizona, while the south end travels to Interstate 10 near Pikachu, an unincorporated community and census designated place in, yep, Arizona. How'd you know? Many fatal car accidents have happened on the 96 year old highway, which has reportedly led some locals to believe the road could be haunted. Amazing. A recent fatal car crash happened on Arizona State 87 near milepost 201 in early February, and the exact cause of the crash is still unknown. The two vehicle collision resulted in the death of one person near Bush Highway, which is east of Fountain Hills, a town in Maricopa County. Valley Chevy dealers in Phoenix named State Route 87 as one of Arizona's most dangerous roads for its beeline like route and has a lot of looping turns. So, viewers who have seen Williams' video on YouTube claim they've seen a lot of supernatural activity on Arizona highways and, you know, in other public 
public spaces. Speaking as someone who possesses a driver's license and doesn't really drive in the city, I'm not necessarily a nervous driver, but I'm a very cautious one who hates major highways, so I'm very glad none of the main roads where I live are cursed. Okay, they're cursed to undergo construction forever or, you know, never, but not with death. If they are, someone better tell me before I get in the driver's seat of a car ever again. And that's gonna be it for our top five terrifying things caught on trucker dash cams, guys. Oh, goodness gracious, I'm reminded of why I don't like driving alone or, well, driving as a whole. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go sell my car now. <laughs> well, I hope y'all enjoyed the video today, and if you did, feel free to leave us a like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more from us here at Top 5 Scary Videos. And we'll see y'all next time, you lovely spooky people. <laughs> on trucker dash cams. And that's where you step off for a minute. I do my, there you go. You're natural. <laughs> I don't know, let me know. <laughs> Never dark enough. In first place, we have a ghost in Arizona.